Linda Bauman is a Westminster grad, hey. mother, grandmother, award-winning quilter, and home business owner. Her passion for quilting started 30 years ago when she tried her hand at a new type of sewing project. At one point in about 1980, my parents remodeled their bedroom and made it very, what at the time was early American. And I said, what they need on their beds are a couple of quilts. I just tied them, I didn't hand quilt them. And oh, I thought that was a lot of fun. So I just continued after that making quilts. Uh, I was self-taught for a lot of years. And then when we relocated to Colorado Springs, there was a quilt shop there. And that was a whole new experience. And they gave a lot of classes, so I started taking classes then. Linda now runs a custom quilting business from her home using a high-tech sewing machine that has become the centerpiece of her living room. Basically, the table's about 12 feet long. The machine itself is mounted on a carriage with wheels where it goes back and forth and back and forth. The carriage is mounted on uh, tracks that run the length of the table the other direction so that when I hold the handles and the needle goes up and down in one place, I can draw and move that machine in any direction that I want and travel down the length of the quilt. Orders for quilts come by internet, phone, or mail from women who have pieced together their blanket but simply don't have the time, patience, room, or skill to complete the top layer of stitching known as quilting. So they turn to Linda and her long arm stitching machine to get a difficult job done with style and beauty. Um, I do have a computer system that I can hook the machine into, insert the length of the quilt and the width of the quilt and the design that I want, and the computer will calculate the size and so on, and I can hook the machine in, press the start button, and it will quilt that design across the whole quilt hands-free. But when I do custom work, that's all with my two hands. Despite the current economy, Linda still keeps her quilting machine humming with projects. Yes, I'm busier than I ever was, which really surprised me because I expected that women would not have the disposable income to pay me to quilt their quilts. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, it's been the other way around. Behind the high-tech gadgetry and thriving home business, Linda says that quilting is far more than just a craft or product. I think that a, a quilt is definitely an inanimate object. You know, but they carry with them an extra um, emotional meaning mm -hmm. to them. You know, when you think of being sick or something, you just want to wrap up in grandma's old quilt. Somehow there's a comfort level to quilting. The comfort a quilt can bring became very personal to Linda with the recent passing of her husband. And I had a, a friend down in Florida, and she had lost her husband to cancer. And he had been in hospice for a while. And she felt moved to make a quilt for every bed in the hospice unit. And when Frank was in hospice on the very last day, when we were all going in to sort of say our final uh, you know, goodbyes, when we walked in the room, he was covered with one of Marion's quilts. And I really don't have words to express the meaning that that carried for me to see that quilt. It, maybe it was like those ladies you know, who had lost husbands before that worked on those quilts were there in that room with me. As I remember just sitting there with one hand on that quilt and the other one on my husband's hand, I guess like drawing strength from it or something. For the county line, this is Andrea Tice.